What's up everybody, it's your boy Brett bringing you another Summoner's War video. Um, TOA 100, it is here with the new boss for the new month. Um, let's take a look at him, Athros, uh, I guess it's what you call him. Um, I like to call him the, uh, <laughs> the Light Ifrit, but he's not really the Light Ifrit because he doesn't exist. Alright, so check me out. Um, let's go through his skills real quick. Uh, guillotine smites the enemy, removing one beneficial effect and decreasing attack speed and attack power for three turns. We've got uh, Xenocide, strikes all three enemies, decreasing their defense for three turns. And we've got uh, Fatal Flames, is passive. He counterattacks the enemies with Burning Flames and recovers a certain amount of damage as HP. So, he's got a heal recovery. He's got a defense break, and he's got uh, a strip or a beneficial effect removed, but he also has an attack speed and attack power decrease for three turns as well, or a decrease in, yeah, for three turns. Um, so on paper, he looks pretty bad and pretty hard. The truth is, is he's not all he's cracked up to be. And let's look at the team here. We brought Vero as the lead, Bella, Healer, Beretta, Dots, big time Dots, and Turbulence, uh, Chasun as an attack buff and an extra heal, and Hua for an attack bar decrease and some Dots as well. So let's get to it. TOA 100, I found out uh, after doing it last month and doing it this month, it doesn't seem that TOA 100 is that hard. Now, I know I say that now because I can do it, but even with the mods I have, um, you notice other than Vero, which is fusible, I don't have any special Nat 5s in here. Um, and you see these mods here, they're not doing a lot of damage. Uh, sorry, I'm taking off my socks. Uh, Asasis has a, a shield, and she does have the potential to put up a block. Um, the fire succubuses have an attack bar decrease, so not much in the way of damage. So for the most part, I go through, you want to get rid of the Asasis first, or you can get rid of any of them first, however you choose to do it. Just remember, Asasis has the, uh, the shield, so I like to go for her first, because once the shield is up, um, you don't get to do any damage. So even though I might have dots on them, or might be able to put like a defense break on them, they don't take any damage, which is just kind of a pain in the butt because oh, I wasted that. They had they had the heal on crap. Um, anyway, they uh, they don't take damage, which, like I said, is a pain in the butt. Uh, so I get rid of them first, so I can do some damage. Uh, who's got turbulence on that one? Get them, bam, got them. So I like to get rid of them first. See, and she put up. The, Damn, let's see if I can get rid of this. Sweet. So that shield just means they, they're not going to take damage for a little bit. And there's three of them, so they all have the potential to put them up at one after another after another. And it just really becomes annoying. Very much so. Um, I can still put them to sleep. You can still put on your debuffs, but they're just not going to take any damage from it. All right, let's see what we got. So as you can see, they're not doing too much in the way of damage. Hua is a little low because um, they're going after her and she's being put to sleep. But again, nothing that's, uh, how I say it, nothing to really worry about. I know she's getting low, but as you can see, I throw the heal up. Let's see if I can strip. Bam. Hua with the dots and the attack bar reduction. Um, let's see. So I got them to sleep on that one. <clears throat> now normally, as just a general strategy, if you do a AoE like stun or sleep or freeze or if, something of that nature, you want to attack the ones that, that aren't sleep. That way you can kind of get them down and the other ones are sleep, so then they're not going to do anything. They'll, they'll wake up from their sleep, freeze, stun, again, whatever you want to call it or whichever effect you have on there. And you've got the next turn to see if you can stun them again, whichever way it goes. 
I don't have strip yet. Uh, let's see if this will pop that. It did. Sweet. So now I've got, see if I can reset that. Nope. Now, the reason why I love Chisun in this one is they all have a heel block. Chisun with the Falling Blossoms. If you don't have her, all you got, uh, if you don't have her, I'll tell you and the ones who have her know that Falling Blossoms is not considered a heel. So, as you see, I heal her back up. That's the main reason why I like bringing her into anything that's going to give me hassle as far as healing. Especially if I'm going to need it. So, she has got, these are almost done here. As you can see, it's just more of time consumption. You know, getting them down, knowing Chisun is going to be put to sleep. I don't think her resi my Chisun's resistance is that high. Can't be with all that. So one down. And then the last one, literally just go through and save all your skills for the next one. Hopefully I can take her out before she gets a turn. Didn't get a despair stun on that one. So let's see. There we go. So second round. This one, same thing. Uh, <clears throat> you've got Conrad who will go through and, how do I say it? He has a way to put a shield and or revive, and the two uh, Valkyries have a way to uh, revive. So again, not, necess not necessarily a whole lot of damage, but you kill one, they bring one back. You kill one, they bring one back. Again, just a pain in the ass. So you go through, try to put defense break on as many of them as possible, get your dots up, try to get a stun. I got two. So let's see. Mo dots. Always mo dots. Dots is beautiful. Love dots. Dots, sorry. I've got a got a Mr. Jake for Road to Redemption running on the other side. So as you go, oh man, your Chisun is going to die. No. Bam. Now with that said, with the defense break, Chisun, I've got her on violent something, but she's got a lot of she's got a lot of HP, but she needs some defense. Because if I bring all the HP in the world and she's got a crappy defense, she's still just going to get worked. So it's kind of, you, you have to find a good balance there. So we'll put the attack buff on. Try to put defense break there. Mo dots. Nope, didn't get Mo dots. But that one should be done. Let's uh, do, let's do it here. Turbulence there, got it. Got a revenge proc. For some reason, they're loving Chasun on this one. Normally, she's not as much as uh, she's not as picked on that much. I know my first run, I, they didn't pick on her hardly at all. See if I stun again. Bam. So now we're going to go after this one. <clears throat> Conrad died. Defense break. Sweet. We'll just keep going. See, brings one back. Pain in the butt. But we are going to... Oh, we're going to get the one with the defense break on. And we will try to get rid of that one. So that's got a dot on it. Should kill that one. Let's go back and get the first one. Defense break. Nope. And they bring another one back. Such a pain in the butt. <clears throat> but we're going to take care of this one. Dang it, only one dot. There we go. Attack buff. Defense break. Damn it, defense break. Oh. So they're all back. And that's because I screwed this up. <clears throat> Wasn't paying attention to who died and who hadn't. So that's completely my bad. With my Beretta, um, if you can get skill ups into him for his uh, Phoenix uh, or third ability, I'm not sure what it's called, his third ability, uh, that will help. My Beretta, I honestly don't believe, has any skill-ups in him. And not because I didn't want to, but just in the beginning, I had Shimate, I had Terran, and I had or Tyron, and I, and I finally pulled Beretta. And thinking I was going to use Tyron for more CC, 
I put the scallops I had, which were the shimates. I don't know why I like shimate, but I just, I never use them. So I put them all into him. And lo and behold, I never use thyme. So I feel completely stupid for that one. Okay, let's get that. Let's get him done. So as you can see, I haven't taken much damage on this one and the damage I have taken, I haven't really had to heal. I've just used Chisun's second skill for the attack buff. Um, we're gonna take care of that. Take care of that. Um, should I fall in blossoms? Yeah, I fall in blossoms. I want them at full health when I get to the boss, but then we're just gonna first skill for everybody else. There we go. Bam. So here comes the boss. Sorry, getting that running. All right, <clears throat> so boss time. So with that, we're going to go and everything, we're going to dot up the right crystal. We're going to get rid of the right crystal. We're going to try to keep a defense break on the boss. And the left crystal, by default, kind of will just make its way down at the same point. So let's see. So we got that. Dot. There we go. Um, to soon. Yeah, we can do that. Then we're going to defense break boss. Nope. Come on, dot. <clears throat> Come on, dot. There we go. Then Phoenix. Bam, more dots. To soon, I will bring back. Actually, no. We're just going to attack. We we'll use Bella there. There we go. So we got slow. Man. Dots is hard to come by. Just go around. We will turbulence on the crystal. Which we got. Defense break boss. No. Man. He is not trying to go down easy. Probably because I'm recording. He knows. He ain't trying to go out like no punk. <laughs> so Muse. Defense break boss, thank you. More dots, there we go. More dots, love it, more dots. Dots, love dots. Lots and lots of dots. Defense break, left crystal, cool. So now we can just literally do damage to the first one. I should have, dang it, I should have used wall on the boss. When the boss's attack bar gets high, you can use Wa or Beretta to uh, try to bring that back down, of course. I didn't do it because I don't know, I was being stupid. Uh, do, do, let's do it on the boss. Didn't do anything. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's do turbulence on the boss. Bam, got it. I'm gonna keep going with the right crystal. <clears throat> We're going to amuse for a little more. There we go. Now we're going to more dots. He's got a slow on. Beautiful. Uh, let's see if we can bring his attack bar down. Sweet. Dots, dots, dots. Okay. So things are running very well at this point. <clears throat> you notice he does have like a built-in, uh, yeah, built-in revenge. But so far, things are going to plan. See if we can get the defense break back up on them. Nope. Try it again. Yep. Defense break over here. Okay, so this crystal here should be just a let's uh turbulence that one. We'll amuse for Bella. And we will just keep it moving. Okay, so let's try to put a dot over there. Nope, didn't get it. All right, first skill, wah. There we go. Sorry, I'm looking down, guys, not looking at it. I'm running this on my tablet. So, um, where is that for you guys right now? That uh, right crystal should be pretty much done after this go. So, we're going to keep the there we go dot on the left crystal, dots for everybody. Qua second skill, 
nothing. So now as you see, I'm starting to pick on the boss. I want to keep my dots going up on both, both, uh, both crystals as much as possible. Uh, I'm not going to heal with Bella because I can't. Defense break. Dot. We will amuse now. Ah, he didn't die. Damn, Crystal. Pisses me off. There we go. Crystal's dead. So now, <clears throat> at this point, um, we're going straight boss. We're going to heal. And then, yeah, we're just going to go boss. So at this point, I'm not too terribly worried about the left crystal. Um, I'm just going to let Wa do her thing, keep the defense break up. For some reason, Vero's dots never hit, never land. So come on, type bar reduction. Let's keep the defense break on them. I think I'm going to put up another dot there. Yep. Phoenix Fury, see, no dots wind up on the boss uh, as far as just your dot dots. Um, your debuffs will, as you can see, land. So we're just going to have at it. And let's see if I can get cocky. We're going to auto. <clears throat> so now I'm going to target the boss because the crystal's dead, and they're just going to have at it. At this point, uh, the crystals are gone. You can t literally you can take out the right crystal and go boss, uh, but based on Beretta with his Phoenix Flame built up his third skill. Damn it! With his third skill, he drops dots on everything except the boss. But for for some reason, his turbulence works on the boss. Attack break works on the boss. Glancing works on the boss. Slow works on the boss. I just can't get a dot on the boss. So there we go. Um, if you want to try somebody else because you may not have some of these, maybe a Colleen with a heal block. Um, <clears throat> anything else that has the ability to uh, decrease attack bar uh, would work perfectly. I'm trying to think who else. Healer, of course, Bella, Vero. Um, I'm thinking maybe a Konamiya if you need a cleanser or any, any cleanser will work. Because you don't want dots lingering on your people. And they just go. It takes me longer because I don't have the heal block off of them. Uh, yeah, the heal block off of them. I don't have anything like that. So they're just going face on the boss now. And it just takes time. As you see, every time I hit him, sometimes I hit him and he gains more than what I take. <clears throat> so that's why he takes a while. So with that, drink my juice. Watch him sit there and me mug me because he knows he's going to die. <clears throat> but you see how long this can take when you don't have somebody to block that heal. And I'm not landing my defense breaks, which is freaking amazing. There we go. Defense breaks. That defense break is huge because he heals. You notice uh, TOA 100 last go around, I had Sigmaris, so I had a huge nuker. With these guys, I don't have a huge nuker. Hua, I think, deals the majority of my damage, <clears throat> but she's not she's not Sigmaris damage the way I have her runed. Uh, as a matter of fact, her runes are what I had when I drew her. Uh, same thing for Beretta. I don't think all his runes are fully maxed, but he is my speed lead, which is another big thing. You want to make sure you have... If you can, a speed lead. I keep Vero as my lead because I know my guys are squishy, so I need all the help I can. If you can remedy that squishiness problem with your, your units, uh, by all means, you can switch Beretta to the lead. That way you guys go faster. Um, <clears throat> other than that, it's time. We're just, we're just running time down. And as long as we can keep that defense break and a slow on them, and Beretta and Hua keep doing their thing, I'm sitting back, vaping, drinking my juice, having Mr. Jake's account farm, which he's coming. He's made progress. We'll talk about him later, though, and we'll get this down. There we go. Man, such a pain. <clears throat> so 
This is actually only my second time running this one. I beat him, and once I realized I could beat him, it was up, video time, so we got it up. I do have some summons for you, for those who have waited through the monotony of watching this take forever and a day. I appreciate it, so thank you. Um, so I do have something special for you guys at the end, which is some summons. <clears throat> I've got my legendary summon. I've got four, count them, because I can math today, four LD summons, and I've got some scrolls. <clears throat> so as you can see, beat and done. Um, I will be doing videos for TOA 70, 80, 90. It's just this was exciting, so I wanted to do the exciting stuff first, which who doesn't love exciting stuff? Farm, farm, farm. There we go. So let's see. Anything out the shop worth buying? Do, do. Oh, mythical scroll. Got to buy it. <clears throat> All right. So let's do some summons. Uh, see if I can do a 10 summon and get some some of that bull out the way bam no lightning sweet so let me go through and just power up something so i don't waste my space uh let's do megan i'm really excited for the uh the real time arena coming and just all that stuff so i'm leveling up uh, units that a lot of people have had leveled up for I don't know how long I've had them sitting there and uh, Just never did anything with them now. I'm like, oh, okay now I'm starting to think and put comps together Starting to see who goes with this person who goes with that person what works best uh, All that fun stuff. Let me see Get him to 25 as close as possible so it's no more, hey, I need a nat 5 so I can just put them in somewhere and hope they work. Now I'm starting to realize, hey, you know, there's some nat 3s, there's some nat 4s, there's some nat 2s like uh, Shannon. Shannon still runs my uh, my Giants B10 team. <clears throat> you know, it's not fast, but she runs it and she's only 5 stars. So those guys have, uh, have potential. So I will tell you, honestly, if you have mods that you're not sure about, ask around. Maybe ask two or three people. That way you just don't get all their crap and you never know. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I didn't get Shannon until I was level 40. Then people were like, ooh, get Shannon because of what she does. I'm like, oh, so I go get Shannon. So we knocked him out the way. We've got 35 Chris, or thirty-five Mythical Scrolls, four LD, one ledge. Fingers crossed. I don't have my good luck charm with me today. She is at ballet. So... Hopefully, with just daddy time, I pull something. <clears throat> See, we got a shark there. Uh, what do we have next? Mummy. I need the mummy forever so I can... I need to refuse for uh, Kabezanuf because uh, he runs great with Katarina and Megan. So, I'm, um, you know, more stuff. Sorry. More summons. Let's talk. Oh, lightning! Do it. What is that? Ah, uh, Fire Barbaric King. I have the win one, so we'll see. We may hang on to him. <clears throat> In regards to Moz guys, like I was saying before, if you have something you're not sure about, uh, throw them in storage. It doesn't hurt. I mean, I, I like to use Mav, the Wind Penguin Knight. Nobody really wanted to mess with him till he got his buff. Next thing you know, it's like, oh my God, he's TOA hard. Material. Over oh, Ranger. <clears throat> so it was uh he was worth hanging on to. I don't know why. I think I was gonna feed him. Golems. Love golems. I actually don't love golems. Let's see. Damn, another freaking martial artist. Alright, fairies. Come on, let's get this crap out the way. <clears throat> let's get some good stuff. So one lightning early on was fine. <clears throat> Come on. Jeez, is this martial artist week or what? Is a game trying to tell me something? I personally think I've got one of those accounts. Hey, it's Mr. Drunky, my daughter's uh, named favorite character. <clears throat> I don't, again, I don't know why. But um, 
this account seems to give me mons, oddly enough, as I need them. <clears throat> Again, if you watched the last couple ones that I did with my daughter here, I pulled Chasun, I pulled Trevor, I pulled Edoras, my first LD, Lightning. Um, and it's like I just kept getting what I need as it was like as I was ready for it, which was weird because I get people, I know people have massive amounts of Nat Fives and they're not really doing all that. I have <clears throat> minus the fusible ones, I have Eladru, um, Hathor, the Wind Desert Queen, and I pulled a Miang. Five star, so everybody was pissed about that. But Miang, R5 from what I've been told. Hathar, I haven't used. And Eladru, all just sitting there. So it's like, I'm getting what I'm getting as I need it. So I can't complain. Fodder at this point for me is always needed because I'm trying to six star a lot of people. I'm trying to get more into skill ups. And the lightning is not coming. So there's going to be a lot of six starring people. Another golem. <clears throat> Jeez. So, I mean, it's it's what it is. It, it it sucks. I know a lot of people like to drop a lot of money in it. I tell you, I drop maybe 20 bucks a month in the game. Maybe less than that. I like to keep that $5 uh, pack going. And honestly, that's usually about it unless I just have an itch to buy something. In most cases, I'm broke by that time, so it just saves me hassle of spending money I don't have. So other than that, I pull stuff from the event. As you saw, I pulled a, a scroll out the shop just now. TOA, I love it when it resets because it's a mass amount of crystals, so I get my refreshes. I can buy a premium pack or two, but I'm not dropping just gobs and gobs of money in, into the game because early on, I could tell this, get, this account wasn't one of those blessed accounts to where I was getting a whole lot of anything. As you can see, was it all 30... 30 total, 35 total mythical scrolls, one lightning. I mean, most people would be throwing their tablet or losing their freaking mind. And yes, it sucks. Trust me. I'd love a bunch of Nat Fives, but I don't get them. But I'm still playing the game. I'm still having fun. I'm still making the videos, doing what I can do. Lightning, what we got? A mermaid. <clears throat> She'll probably be in storage. So... I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I have fun playing the game. I get what I need when I need it. And it's taught me how to think without having the Nat Fives, which tend to make things easier. So Lightning. Bam. What is this? Kung Fu Girl? Yin. Okay. <clears throat> so another uh, Rakshasa. Uh, let me just, what does she do? Attacks the enemy with a whip, decreasing the attack speed for two turns with a 50% chance. So same first skill. Attacks... Three times in a row and inflicts continuous damage for two turns with a crit. Get an extra turn with a 15% chance when your turn is over. I might hang on to her. <clears throat> you never know. Man, what? Man, come on now. What was that? Julie, that's my... What is that? That's like my third Julie I've pulled. I pulled Julie very early on in game, and I've pulled two of her since. So you see lightning... Not complaining. <clears throat> be not, it would be nice if uh, Praha would drop. You know, wouldn't mind. You know, hook a brother up. Shoot. But hey, I'll get her when I get her. If I don't get her, there are ways around using her. She would just make things a lot easier. Oh, damn. We made it all the way without a martial cat. Ain't that a All right, we got her out the way, so we shouldn't pull one to light dark scroll, right? Or out the damn freaking legendary scroll. Alright, so we're done there. Make sure he's back to farming. Bam. Uh, replay. Who we get? Beast Hunter. Okay. So, here we go. Light and darks. Oh, ah. Let's do the one piece together first. <gasps> Uh-oh. Let's do it. This is my Nat 5. Ooh, Light Samurai. Ooh, let me see. Draws a sword to attack the enemy, decreasing the target's defense for two turns with a 50% chance, so a defense break, single target defense break. Uh, the skill has a 10% chance to activate his uh, Sword of the Supreme Skywolf. Second skill, 
Shoots a sharp energy with your sword. Your attack speed is increased for two turns with this attack. Oh, if this attack lands a crit, the skill is a 20% chance to activate my blah, blah, blah. Okay, third skill. Attacks all enemies two times. So we got an AoE, two-time hit AoE. Uh, each attack deals 25% increased damage if the enemy is under weakening effects uh, and is guaranteed a critical hit if the target has a dark attribute. The skill has a 50% chance to activate. Bam. So maybe an arena if they have a Vero up, you know, or uh, I'll say guild battle, but that's kind of subject to who brings what in a guild battle. Um, but I could use them in a guild battle. Vero, where, where I'm at in arena, is in abundance. So there we go. Passive. Oh, no. No, yeah, this is Skywolf. So attacks all enemies with a secret skill that does substantial damage that ignores all beneficial effects. Ooh, ignores all beneficial effects that reduces the inflicted damage. Hmm. Generates a shield which is proportionate to your level and lasts for one turn if Sword of the Supreme Skywolf is activated. Don't have them. Haven't researched them. Don't know a lot about them, but let's see. So what we got here, Light Mystic Witch. I wonder if I can get in the Shear. Can I get in the Shear? Another Light Mystical Witch, so probably not. Oh, two Light Dark Light Dance, give me one. Mm, I will take it, take it, and run like I stole it. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Stickle, if you're watching this, you called it. We were at work. We were talking. You called it. Appreciate it. This one's for you, buddy. So, the only thing that can top that for me right now is the, hopefully, fingers crossed, Nat 5 I pull out of here. Let's see. Lightning. Uh, I have one of her, so she'll be a skill up for her or a skill up for Lisa, the fire one. So there you go. Appreciate you joining in TOA 100 with the the uh, summons at the end, and just for you guys hanging out, a rage summon. No lightning, but there you go. <clears throat> it's been fun. And uh, you guys have a good one. I'll see you in uh, TOA 60, 70, 80, 90. 60's already up. So 70, 80, 90. Bam.